Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining us. Um, it's a real pleasure for me to be here with uh, Mark Stapley uh, of Helix, uh, really to highlight what this great San Diego innovative company uh, is doing on the cutting edge of testing solutions. Uh, Helix is a genomics company that we are very proud of here in the city of San Diego and all of our innovation companies. And I've been trying to make a point to highlight the leadership role that our local San Diego companies are providing for the state, the nation, uh, and the world. The innovation is unmatched and, and unparalleled. Uh, as we are beginning to reopen our economy, as people are going back to work and doing it safely, one of the things that we have to in make sure that we have of enough of is testing. Helix uh, is a phenomenal genomics company uh, that has a new solution uh, that can greatly expand the ability to do testing, a large scale testing, uh, very quickly. And so I'm going to turn that over to uh, Mark in just a second to talk about uh, how they're going to use genomics in a new and very innovative way. This has the ability, of course, to help uh, all of us. As you know, working very closely uh, with the County of San Diego to increase our testing, to increase contact tracing, the two go hand in hand. So to have solutions that make it easier uh, for San Diegans to use our technology, to use the brains and the smart, great companies that were just like Helix, is really going to put us uh, at the forefront and continue to lead, not only here in California, uh, but indeed uh, the rest of the state. And so uh, that is something that I am very proud of. We're going to take a tour a little bit to see some of this uh, in action. Again, using genomics uh, in the testing front is going to be scalable and is really going to help us uh, get the amount of testing that we need for the long term. Uh, and so, Mark, I want to thank uh, you and, and Helix. Uh, again, it is, as we have been highlighting, uh, the tremendous talent that we have right here in San Diego, the innovation that we have here in San Diego. Helix uh, is a great example of that. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Mark Stapley, who is the CEO of Helix. Mark. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor Faulkner, and thank you, everybody, for being here. It is our pleasure to welcome you uh, today to Helix's lab here in San Diego. Um, you know, we've, uh, as, as the mayor mentioned, we've been working on uh, some testing uh, approaches here, and we're going to take you through those today. Uh, here at Helix, our approach has been uh, to improve community health through massive scale population sequencing, population genomics and diagnostics. As the coronavirus pandemic hit, we had to take a step back and really think about how we could put our incredible resources and talents uh, to bear against the, uh, in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. So that is what we've been doing. Testing today is clearly expanding, but it's not anywhere near where it needs to be in order to enable America to safely return to work uh, and beyond. And so if you think about the number of tests that are being done today, it's in the order of 300 to 400,000, but best estimates of, of what is actually needed are in the ranges of one to 10 million, uh, which clearly is, is a you know, huge scale. Uh, so here at Helix, we've been working on, if you think back to what Helix has been doing over the last few years, we've had a vast experience uh, with collecting biological samples from hundreds of thousands of people, sequencing them here in our lab in San Diego, and returning clinical results. So we knew that we had to take that experience that we've gained and come up with a solution uh, for COVID uh, that was comprehensive, uh, scalable, and sensitive in order to meet that, that necessary demand. Coming up with such an innovative solution clearly takes time, and health systems and healthcare providers have needs that need to be met today with testing. So what's going on in the lab right next door here today is the development of not one, but two COVID-19 tests. The first test, which we're launching next week, is a testing service that will en enable health systems and healthcare providers uh, to be testing individuals right away. That testing service can scale to 10,000 samples per day. It uses uh, PCR technology, which is the same technology that is used in the majority of tests that are being run uh, in the country today. Uh, and so that's ready to launch next week. For the massively scalable solution, we knew we had to come up with something that was sensitive enough to um, 
to diagnose people in a community setting, uh, easy enough for organizations to use and implement, and scalable enough to meet that massive demand. So for that, we're going to be using next generation sequencing, which is a technology that we believe is more sensitive than existing methods and can scale significantly compared to existing methods. We'll be using Illumina's NovaSeq platform, which is a platform that was developed just down the road here in San Diego, another example of the vibrant life sciences community uh, in our town. That service will be launched uh, in the middle of the summer, uh, and we're looking forward to doing that. Given that we have the, uh, one of the largest clinical sequencing labs in the world, we're well positioned to launch both of these COVID-19 tests uh, to help not only meet today's testing needs, but to enable a return to work and play. I'm immensely proud of the work that our team at Helix, both here in San Diego and in the Bay Area, has done on these two tests. Uh, I wish I could recognize everybody individually. Clearly, I can't. There's a lot of people involved. I would like to call out uh, one person who epitomizes and leads uh, our scientific culture here at Helix, uh, and recognition of him is recognition of the team, and that is James Liu, our co-founder and chief scientific, scientific officer, who has been leading both of these programs as well as our COVID research for the last few months. I've been in this industry for a long time, and the thing that I've learned is that science is really hard. You pull a talented scientific leader like James with a talented scientific team, you can achieve incredible things. So thank you. I'm also proud that Helix is part of the growth uh, in talent and innovation right here in San Diego. So with that, uh, I'm excited to have us show you what we've done here at Helix to transform uh, our lab to support massive scale COVID testing uh, for San Diego and the rest of the country and to, in your words, Mayor Faulkner, get started with the new normal. Thank you. Thank you guys. We are gonna take a, a tour and Shay will follow us, but any questions for uh, uh, Mark or myself before we, uh, before we get? Yes, yes go ahead. please. It's a very exciting day, but there, there has been some concerns about the accuracy of the test. How do you um, help people understand that these are tests that are going to help? Yeah, and I think there's also some confusion between the different types of tests. So in the first instance, the PCR test that we're launching next week is, uh, is highly accurate. Um, it's, uh, it's as accurate as all the other tests that are you know, on the market today. It's in, in that range, of course, and we've validated that. Uh, and of course, you know, we're filing with the FDA as well on that. For the next generation sequencing test that we're developing, our expectation is that it will be even more sensitive. Um, and so that's the expectation. And you said 1.1 .1 million is that because you were saying 300,000 versus 1.1 million. Those were national numbers. What, yes, but it's actually it's 300 to 400,000 today and 1 to 10 million uh, for you know, opening up America again. Uh, and those estimates are very broad. There's a lot of publications, but it's, it's clearly millions. <laughs> what is the time frame from gathering the sample to the result? Uh, so once we receive the sample in our lab, it's a 24-hour turnaround time. Um, and receiving the sample is dependent on the logistics planning that, that we put in place. So, you know, that can range from anywhere from hours to, to a day or so. What is involved in acquiring the sample? Uh, the sample is acquired by using a, a, a swab that is inserted into the front of the nose, different from a lot of the tests that need to go into very deep into the back of the nasal passage. So it's inserted into the front of the nose and then put into a tube, and that tube is then shipped to our lab here. Are these doctor or clinic administered tests, or is this the at-home version? The initial version, the initial launch of this test next week will start with a healthcare worker observed uh, administration, uh, but we're planning on filing a, uh, you know, what, what we need to file in order to move that to self-administered. And that, that should take maybe a month. So then ideally someone could buy this and take it home? Yeah, the, um, potentially, yes, and we've had uh, experiences working with um, individual, uh, you know, sending out individual kits and receiving them back. Um, the flexibility of this test is it could go in every direction. It could start, it could work with individuals. Uh, it could be sent to individuals, but more likely it's going to be uh, bulk shipped into large collection areas, whether it be distributors or, or uh, places of work, etc. Uh, and then individuals would take their kit, go do the... Uh, the necessary swab and then send it straight back. Very good. Thank you all. Really appreciate it.